What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I have for you this pretty burgundy look that I am so in love with. So, so much. I use the Hip Dot palette and the Galaxy Chic palette. If you guys want to see how I got this look, how to create this look, recreate it, create something similar, please continue watching. I promise you it's not disappointing. And I will see you in a few moments as usual with my bare face on. So I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I think I'm going to use concealer. I'm going to be using my NARS. I always use this and I never can remember the name. Um, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Custard. My little dirty guy over here. And you can even blend that in with your finger. Uh, I guess to set my eyelids, I'm going to use the MAC Golden Mineralized Skin Finish. I wanted to go with something maroony, something burgundy around that shade. So, I was looking through all my eyeshadow palettes and I found this one that I haven't used before. This is the Hip Dot. The Hip Dot Zion palette, I believe it's called. It looks like this. These both in BoxyCharm. So this is how I found out about this palette or this brand. So I'm gonna be using the Zion Press Pigment Palette by Hip Dot. Oof. So I actually look up how much this palette costs and if it's still, if it's like viable, if you can, if you can, let me see if you can purchase it online. I'm pretty sure you can. So this is currently on sale in ASOS if anybody wants to try out and purchase it and on the Hip Dot website and it retails for $30, so. I'm gonna go into the color sandstone right here. I am now gonna go into the color grounded, which is this one right here. You can see it. I am gonna place it right in the outer part and bring it in like that. I'm now gonna go into this color Majesty in the palette. It is like a burgundy purplish color right here. And I'm just gonna go uh, a little bit below the orangey color. We just did the color grounded. And I'm gonna start from here, but pushing it up, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending it in together. Just so you guys can see when you blend it out and when you don't blend it out. We're gonna go back into the NARS concealer and we're gonna take a small little brush and we're gonna apply it to our lids. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush like this and this one specifically is from Bodyography Pro I honestly have no idea where I got this from and I'm gonna dip into the color narrows right here and I'm gonna apply that over the concealer we just added Well, we're going to take a little bit of that Narrows color and we're going to just blend it in. Alright, now that we're all barneyed up, I know I bought this in Forever 21. And this is my favorite shimmer shadow palette. When a palette doesn't have a specific color shimmer that I want to use, this palette always has it and it's the... BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic and these are baked eyeshadows and it's so inexpensive sorry backwards so I'm gonna go into the shade Aphrodite or Aphrodite however you like to say it take my finger and I'm gonna add this in the inner corners of my eyes 
first I'll use the LA Girl Jet Setter liquid eyeliner. I recently bought this. Yeah. Okay, this is as even as we're gonna get. I'm gonna coat my lashes with my Tarte Tardius mascara. This is one of my favorite high-end mascaras. For eyelashes, I wanted to try out a new pair of eyelashes are by Envy Mink Lashes. I, I'm not too sure of the style of them, the name of them, but I will link it down here below. I'm gonna pop these on and I will be right back. Perfect. Okay, by the way, guys, these lashes are beautiful. They feel amazing and they're really easy to put on. Wanna check them out? I'll leave the Instagram handle right here, somewhere here. You guys can go check it out. It's called MV Mink Lashes and the quality is just so good. Like you guys need to go and try these. Now we're gonna go into foundation. Let's use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I really love this and I haven't used it in a long time. So I went out and I got one but I noticed that the packaging is different and I don't know I, I noticed this one says matte this is the new one and this one is the old one we'll see all right I'm gonna use the new one also I'm gonna take the max strobe cream yes. guys 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 this I used to use religiously when I first came out We're gonna put that, we're gonna blend it with this gel cream just there. I'm just gonna grab a brush and we're gonna blend this. So now we're gonna go into concealer. I'm in fact gonna use a different concealer finally, um, but I'm first gonna apply the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter. Who remembers this also? I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is, I, I use this as a bronzer. I, I believe it's like a cream bronzer. I don't know what it is actually. It might be a foundation, but it's very dark. I'm gonna grab a brush and I'm just gonna dip it in here. Go ahead and blend it out. Before we set the under eyes, I want to go in with the cream bronzer. It's the Yenza Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. So, basically a base. And I'm gonna just dip it in here and we're gonna just, you know what? I'm gonna grab a little brush and just add right here. Grab a sponge and I'm gonna press that in. MAC Extra Dimension Bronzing Powder in Delphic. It looks like this. It's really gonna set that bronzer base. Now we can go ahead and set the under eye. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in Medium Plus. We're all macked out today. This it's a pressed powder, but I use the lightest color. Oh, I'm just gonna press just to add extra coverage on the under eye area. We're gonna set the other side. So I'm not sweeping it around, I'm just patting it on because we don't want to move the concealer that we have already set on our under eyes. I just realized I wanted to add a cream blush, but I already set everything with powder, so yay me. Okay, it's okay. What I'm do now is I'm going to add some color on the under eyes. We're gonna go back into that hip dot palette. Let's take the color vibration right here. This is the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm gonna press it. 
disorder on the outer part of the eye. I'm going to bring it to the middle. All right. I'm gonna take whatever's left on this brush that we applied that narrows color and I'm just gonna blend this. And what a fatal blush. I'm gonna grab the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush blush in Hush Blush. It's 18 Hush Blush. A mauve but pink blush. Just add some to the nose. So I'm gonna take the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I love this spray. <sighs> MAC. <laughs> I'm gonna take the MAC lip pencil in Whirl. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color 260 Hazelnut. Maybe I want to darken it a bit. A little bit of the Kat Von D Lolita. That's very dark. That's all right, we'll blend it out. And who remembers this like OG color? Everybody was buying Kat Von D's Lolita. All right, my lovelies, so this is Basically the completed look. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys like the burgundy because I absolutely love it. It reminds me of fall so it's making me a little bit sad but you know what, I'm ready for the spring and summer. I want the snow to get out of here so till then warm colors I guess but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I definitely love it. If you have any questions on any products or anything or any suggestions on next videos, please comment down below. Like and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and click on that notification bell just to remind you guys anytime that I upload any videos because it does help me. And I love you guys. And you guys who watch me, thank you so much for your support, you know. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Can you want me for me? It's in my birthday, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby.